So if there's one flaw about this Oxenkopf Big Ox Maul, it's definitely the sheath that came with it. So today we're going to try out this Helco leather sheath that I bought separately. So these are the same type that come with all the Helco axes. And you can buy them separately. So I measured the uh, blade and I think I got the right size. Before, I, before we do that, let's kind of show you the problems with... The first one is, is the, the band's getting really stretched out. When I first got this, I didn't need to do this kind of separate loop around there. And as you can see, it's uh, degrading pretty, pretty rapidly there. Second issue is uh, it's not really well, very well designed. You got the one rivet here holding in the entire this side. So you've got some big gap right there where uh, it doesn't really provide you much protection if that moves. So you see right in here there's already a hole in it uh, just from the blade poking through. So for a premium product this was really a pretty cheap sheath. I guess they could have not included anything at all. Um, it is nice they included something, but... So let's take a look at this Helco uh, sheath. So this is actually, they have about five or six different sizes of this, and if you go to the website you can you would measure the blade, the blade uh, width, and pick out the one that matches. So this is actually their small, smallest one I believe they make. And I picked it up off Amazon. So these are these are actually um, I say made in the USA. There's a coupon if anybody wants to use that. Um, it's not clear if they're um, making these in house or they're contracting them out. Um, they got pictures on their website that kind of uh, indicate that it might be done in house, but. I'm not sure. So you can see kind of the size difference here between these. So the major the major difference is kind of in the design. Um, so this one is just one strip. They fold it over and then add some rivets on the ends and then two on this side. So if you look at the Helco design, what they actually do is they cut out uh, three pieces, so two are the same for the front and the back, and then they cut out a middle piece right here that is just kind of around the edge. So the advantage of this approach is your axe blade is actually going to be touching that middle piece, so we have to work its way through that, that middle piece in order to actually touch any of these rivets. So you don't have to worry about your blade being dulled. And then we got this, uh, this buckle with plenty of holes. I guess you could punch more in if you needed more spots. So not much really to it and then they looks like they stamp it. And that, that just looks like a pressed, uh, it's not burned in or anything. So check out, if you check out these rivets, it's kind of an interesting way that they uh, kind of terminate or, or bind those in there. It's kind of like, it looks like the rivet kind of splits up into six pieces and then curves over. So it would take a lot of force to pull that back through. All right, so let's see how this fits on there. So like I said, this is the smallest one that, I, that they offer, I believe. Um, so it looks like it's gonna work. Looks like it could be fit a little bit larger Axe blade, but I think this will work just fine. And then it just you just kind of attach it like you would a belt. Oh yeah, I think that'll work just fine. Yeah, it's got a nice sturdy fit on there, so... I may cut this off, it'll make it a little bit shorter. Don't have all this excess, but for now it should be fine. 
So if you do have one of these auction coughs, this is definitely a product you should look at getting it. So if you want to know how these are holding up over time, I've had this Vario 2000 for about two years. Um, you can see the leather here is um, definitely more seasoned, I guess you'd call it. More worked in. But it's holding up pretty well. There is um, maybe a little bit of uh, chipping going on, on on this rivet right here, this nickel plated rivet. So there's a little bit of rust starting to form. Other than that, it's holding up nicely. So, so yeah, if you pretty much this will work on any any axe. You just got to go and measure the size that you need, and order the right size. And because it has such a long uh, strap to it with so many positions, it it will fit essentially any head out there. So the reason I really did this video is um, I know this is not exactly a German tool. It's still, it's made in the USA. It's it's from Helco, a German brand. Um, I couldn't find anything out there. Nobody's done a review on one of these um, yet that I could see on YouTube. People have done reviews on the Helco axes and maybe they mentioned it in uh, passing, but nobody really bought one for another type of axe that I could find. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. I think that's going to wrap it up for this week and I'll catch you guys next time.